GoGriffins.com, powered by Spine and Sport Physical Therapy. Train like the pros, my friends. This GSI Griffin Sports Update brought to you by Uncle D's Sports Bar and Grill. Uncle D's, it's where your friends are. to the jungle, a history-making day in Pittsburgh, Kansas for more reasons than one. Record crowd on hand to see the number 16 Griffins and the number 7 Gorillas. Both teams coming off tough losses from a week ago. No one could have predicted the beating that was about to come. Pick it up early first quarter. Pitt draws first blood. Anthony Abanoa hooks up with John Brown for a six-yard scoring strike. Gorillas take a 7-0 lead. From there, you probably know what happened but still may not believe it while you're seeing it. Travis Partridge, reverse play action fake. Mike Hill all alone and he has a 48 yard touchdown. Griff's tied at seven. Couple minutes later, Partridge airing it out again. This time it's Derek Livy in stride. He makes a move. He's gone. 64 yard scoring strike. Griff's take the lead and then things get absolutely stupid. Second quarter, Abanoa's pass tipped and picked off by David Bass. I remember reaching up and grabbing it and I thought I had first mind just go down because the offense was hot so let them take over but Chante's like you good ain't nobody here. I feel like Mike Hill just for a second. His first career touchdown 21-7 Griffs. Gorillas turn it over again on their next possession then Partridge hits Rip right over the middle for his first career touchdown catch. A couple minutes later back in the red zone Partridge to Reggie Jordan his eighth touchdown catch of the season. Gus Gorilla is catatonic. Griffs take a 27 point lead and far far from finish just before the half back at the goal line again Partridge walks away direct snap to Hill who plows in for six the nearly 12,000 fans in attendance sit in stunned silence as the Griffs take a 42 to 7 lead to halftime the Western fans can't believe it either coach Partridge your thoughts I want to kids about play the same way they played that first half that was as good as we could play now we got to get down to second half third quarter more the same Hill walks into the end zone one of his four touchdowns on the day the Griffins score 56 unanswered points on the Gorillas. The defense was just phenomenal. Bass, one of the big reasons why. Two and a half sacks and that pick six, of course, as Missouri Western destroys Pitt State 63 to 14 the final. It's Pitt's worst home loss in 98 years. The Griffins become the only team in history to win three in a row in the jungle, and they run their record to seven and one on the season. After that heartbreaking loss to Missouri Southern last week, this is about the best bounce back performance anyone could have asked for. You don't expect to come beat a program like this 63-14. This doesn't happen. Hardly ever happens, and especially right here in this place right here. That doesn't happen. The comments never left them. We, we believe we we're going to come in here and win. Not to that extent. Coming in, and they're the number one team in the conference on defense to put up 63 points on them. We just, and you only give up 14. I mean, you can't expect any more. So I didn't expect it to be that big, but obviously it's better to have that than a dog fight, which we expected. Uh, definitely we came out here ready to play. This atmosphere was awesome. I mean, we knew we were still the offense that we are. We came out here and showed it today, and not just offense, but as a team. That's Griffin football. That's what we should be playing all around. We'll, we'll enjoy the bus ride, and then we're probably going to get up here in the morning and start uh, working on Porta fast. And that's what we got to do. But they got to get rid of us, too. You're unbelievable.